praise the name of the Lord. Yes, well, today we want to examine spiritual diagnosis. And in line with spiritual diagnosis, I'm going to be talking about forgiveness, inquiry, prayer, and repentance. They all go together. You know, whenever we are in a problem, in a swagme, or whenever we are kind of stuck, the first thing to do is not to blame God or look around or blame people, situations or circumstances or have regrets. The first thing to, to do whenever we are in a problem or a situation or circumstance or in a tight corner or going through stuff or challenge, the first thing we should do is actually to inquire of the Lord. Simply ask God. You know, ask is not just prayer. It's A-S-K. Ask, seek, and knock. So when you ask God, we call it inquiry prayer or spiritual consultation. This is exactly why David is a man after God's own heart. One of the reasons is that every time you look into the Bible, you begin to discover that David always inquired of the Lord. And the Bible says, and David inquired of the Lord. And it's always a recurring phenomenon in the scripture. And when you look at his lifestyle, if you do a profile on David, which is character sketch, you discover that David is actually a man after God's own heart. There are other reasons why he's a man after God's own heart. But one of the primary reasons is that he always inquire of the Lord. For instance, when there was a, a famine, a drought for three good years, straight on, and David knew that this was not normal, what did he do? He asked the Lord. He inquired of the Lord. And when he did, God not told him that the problem was from Saul, uh, former king Saul and his bloody house. And then the solution comes. Because when you inquire of the Lord, or when you do spiritual consultation or inquiry, God will tell you the reason for your problem, the origin of your problem, and why you are going through things, and also the solution or the answer, or the instruction, or how to come out of the wilderness, or come out of that situation or circumstances that you find yourself, or I found myself. Now, child of God, I want to tie this to deliverance. A lot of times people go through things, and they don't even know it's a demon, that behind every problem, known or unknown, directly or indirectly, whether it's a puzzle or a mystery, you discover that there's always a demon or an evil spirit or darkness or dark forces or a curse behind it. Because God designs his children to prosper, to walk in glory, to walk in blessing, to walk in their covenant rights and privileges in Christ. And if these things are not happening, there's a reason for that. The Bible said, a curse curseless shall not come. In other words, there's always a reason for a curse or blockade or lack of blessing or punishment or suffering or hardship or any problem or challenge we find ourselves there's always a reason for that and because of that we have to ask god he knows better than all of us this is where relationship and fellowship and communion with the holy spirit is actually important very very important the Bible did not say Bible will teach us all things. He said the Holy Spirit will teach us all things. So God is not a prayer-keeping God. He's a covenant-keeping God. So we don't just go into prayer. We go into covenant. We activate covenant and then ask God, who is our covenant partner, who is our senior partner, who is the one that made us in the first place, smarter than us, greater than us, much more powerful than us, and who is actually our father, meaning the source, the origin, and the founder of all things. And remember, our God is actually what I call 
the God of the spirit of all flesh, the father of spirits. When he is father, he knows everything. And be persistent. Sometimes we ask God and you don't get immediate answer. Don't quit. Don't give in. Don't back up. Don't back down. Don't backtrack. Don't get frustrated. Don't become complacent. Keep on asking. Keep on seeking. Keep on knocking. And God will answer. Definitely. You know, Daniel, if he has quit praying, the story about his angel bringing the answer to his prayer would have not been in the Bible if Daniel has quit praying. You know, because his answers were delayed, were late, detained. And then, you know, because of that, Daniel, who understood the things or had the spirit realm of prayers, who knows that God do not fail, God do not falter, God do not back down. God is always gracious. The immediate day, the immediately you pray. In that very hour and time, God always answer in the now and here. Instantly, immediately, what we call with immediate effect. God does not waste time. God is not a God of delay. God is not a God of blockade. But when we pray, child of God, and when we are in a situation that has puzzled even ministers and prophets, apostles, and the people in the fivefold ministry, including pastors and evangelists, or anyone else, including a prayer warrior or intercessor, anything that has puzzled you as a believer, as a child of God, go to God in prayer. Learn to talk to God. Learn to know God personally and intimately. Learn to walk with the Holy Ghost. Because if you have a relationship, if you have communion with the Holy Ghost, when you fellowship with Him, when you worship God, you become sensitive in the Spirit. You begin to pick up things in the spirit. You begin to relate to God. You begin to connect with God. You begin to communicate with God. You begin to hear God clearly and unmistakably. You begin to follow and flow with the voice of the Holy Ghost. And God will teach you. God will tell you things. God will open your eyes. God will open your ears. God will open your sensitivity, your consciousness. You become very, very sensitive to God because now you know his heart. And that's why even when we think we know God's mind or we know the scripture, we still have to inquire from him so that we can know his heart at every particular situation or every particular time or, or circumstance or every particular issue or something you have decided to do or decided to accomplish or decided to have. Even if God has called you to do that work, you still need his opinion in every step, in every way. In every manner, in every direction, you have to ask for his guidance. This is where we make mistakes. So the whole issue about inquiry or spiritual diagnosis is that when you pray and after praying, listen, meditate, be quiet, stay in his presence because your prayer is not complete until God answers. You have not prayed until you hear from God. It's a two-way traffic. It's not a monologue it's a dialogue it's a discourse you have to hear clearly from god you have to hear unmistakably from god you have to be sensitive to the voice of the holy ghost to the voice of the father so child of god you have to sense the nearness of god or the presence of god now one of the things and ways god speaks to us is through our dream especially i'm tying this to deliverance or healing or you know prosperity or even so winning, which we always don't do as children of God, but we're supposed to. Now, basic problem that confront us, including our calling, our ministry, you know, what next to do, the next logical step, or what, you know, direction to go, or, you know, Holy Ghost being our guide, being our director, being our trailblazer, being not just present, but our president, we have to look into our dreams. Or into our dream state. This is where we have to ask God the dream He's been showing us, especially if the dreams come repeatedly. Or when you dream and then you wake up to go to the restroom, ease yourself, and come back and start sleeping. If the dream continues, know that that dream is important. 
or when God keep on repeating a certain dream or allow some dream to be repeated continuously two, three or four times, pay attention to it and have a dream journal. And that way is your situation and circumstances, you know, surrounding you. Whenever you have a problem, make sure you get to the root of that problem. Don't look at the surface. Don't try to deal with the fruit, which is what we do, which is like a quick fix. Go directly to the tap root. Go directly to the source, origin of the problem. Ask God and God will tell you because that's how God solves problem. Totally, completely, absolutely, eradicate it totally. Why? Because God knows that if you cut the tree, if you didn't uproot it and take out the stump, that problem will recur. Or what you get is just temporary measure with a lot of recurrence or relapses. So child of God, very, very important. Always, whether it is your dream, situation, circumstances, sensitivity or hearing from God or God showing you a vision or a dream, you got to hear from God. You got to know something from God. You have to get the answer from God. He is the God of solution that removes commotion and confusion. He is the God of resource that terminates in source. So child of God, I will leave it at this. And that time in spiritual diagnosis, I will come and break down some of our common dreams and common interpretation especially when it comes to crisis dream or warfare dream or dream demotion dream pollution dream perversion anti-destiny dream dream blockade or dream embargoes or hindrances or opposition or things god is trying to pass across to us and we are not sensitive enough and we are not aware because life is about consciousness so when god shows us this when we begin to have sensitivity in the spirit, including in our dream, then we begin to understand God and begin to understand his perspective. Remember, the Bible says, as many as are led by the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, they are the sons and daughters of God. We have to be led. We have to follow. We have to flow in the Holy Ghost, letting him lead, letting him direct, letting him dominate us, letting him show us things to come. That's why he's the seal of our salvation. That's why he's our senior partner, our director. That's why he's our comforter, our director, our standby, our revelator. That's why he's our helper. That's why the Holy Ghost is our word acclaimed teacher. So he will teach us all things. God bless you. Talk to you later. I don't want it to be long. This is your prophet, Dr. Uzo. Talk to you. Bye-bye.